Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 4 minus x cubed minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. First, we rearrange this expression on the left hand side. We write this uh, x to the power 4 first, x to the power 4. Then we write this plus 1, plus 1, and then we write this negative x cubed, negative x cubed. In the last, we write this negative x, negative x is equal to 0. Next, x to the power 4 plus 1. From these two terms, uh, negative x cubed and negative x we factor out negative sign negative sign as common factor and in bracket left positive x cubed plus x is equal to 0 now we move uh, this whole expression to the right hand side then this equation will become x to the power 4 plus 1 is equal to this uh, negative expression will become positive at the right hand side x cubed plus x. Now, from here we divide both sides of this equation by x cubed plus x. So, this x cubed plus x will be cancelled out with this x cubed plus x. So, this equation will become x to the power 4 plus 1 divided by x cubed plus x is equal to 1. Now, we divide the denominator and numerator by x squared. x to the power 4 plus 1. And we divide this by x squared. All this divided by the denominator is uh, x cubed plus x and we divide this by x squared is equal to 1. Now, this implies that uh, this uh, x to the power 4 plus 1 over x squared can be written as x to the power 4 divided by x squared plus 1 over x squared. In all this divided by this uh, x cubed plus x over x squared can be written as x cubed over x squared plus x over x squared is equal to 1. Now, this x to the power 4 over x squared will become x squared plus this 1 over x squared all this divided by this uh, x cubed divided by x squared will become x plus this x over x squared will become 1 over x is equal to 1. Now, x plus uh, 1 over x whole squared is equal to x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x. Now, this x will be cancelled out with this x. We move this plus 2 to the left hand side. Then, this will become x plus 1 over x whole squared. This plus 2 will become negative 2 is equal to x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared. So, we replace this uh, expression in the numerator x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared with this x plus 1 over x whole squared minus 2. Then, this equation will become x plus 1 over x whole squared minus 2 all this divided by x plus 1 over x is equal to 1. 
Now we suppose that uh, let x plus 1 over x is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation then this equation will become m squared minus 2 divided by m is equal to 1 and if we multiply both sides by m this implies that m squared minus 2 is equal to m and we move with this m to the left hand side then m squared minus m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this m squared m squared and we split this uh, negative m as we split this negative m as negative 2 m plus 1 m minus this 2 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out m in bracket left uh, m minus 2 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 1 in bracket left uh, m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this expression m minus 2 and this expression m minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 2. In bracket left uh, this m and this plus 1 in bracket left m plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, either this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m 2 and from this equation we get the value of m negative 1. Now, to find the values of x, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to m. We have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to m. First, in this equation, we put this value of m2, then this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to 2. And if we multiply both sides by x, this implies that x squared plus 1 is equal to 2x. Remove this 2x to the left hand side, then x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 0. Now, this x minus 1 whole squared can be written as x minus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0. In this equation, x is equal to 1 and from this equation, x is equal to 1 this is the first value of x and this is the second value of x. So, we got the two solutions from this equation. How to find other two solutions? In this equation, we put the value of m negative 1. Then, this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to negative 1. And if we multiply both sides by x, then this implies that uh, x squared plus 1 is equal to negative x. We move this negative x to the left hand side, then x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative in place of b, we write 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared, we write 1 square minus 4 times in place of a, we write 1 times in place of c, we write 1 divided by 2 times in place of a, we write 1. Next, x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 
square root of this uh, 1 squared is 1 and 1 minus 4 negative 3 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus this uh, square root of negative 3 will become square root of 3 times i divided by 2 this is the third and fourth value of x. So, these are the four solutions of uh, this equation.